Hey yo, what's good? It's the OG Young Seek. New to my channel, make sure you like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that other shit. Follow me on Instagram, uh, Twitter, and Snapchat. But look, bro, if you saw this post right here, this is the series I'm talking about. I'm gonna call it Bro Talk. So basically, I'm gonna put y'all niggas on game because I know the summer coming up, and a lot of y'all niggas don't got no game. You don't know how to talk to girls. You know, you're still a virgin. There's nothing wrong with none of that shit, but I'm gonna get you right because who don't like talking to girls? Who don't, you know, like, you know, getting a little action with some girls? Who don't like it? But, uh, look, I'm gonna get y'all right. I'm gonna help y'all get niggas get the bitches, the hoes, all that shit. Excuse me, uh, ladies, if there's any ladies watching this, excuse my French. I don't mean to call y'all this at out of term. It's just, it's just how I talk. So, if I ever see a girl in public, I'm very respectful. So, I would never call a bitch a bitch or a hoe in public. You get what I'm saying? So, that's that. But, look, uh, don't question my eligibility. I really do, I really do do this. This is Dr. Seco Suave talking. This is my alter ego. Reason why he's Dr. Seagull Suave is because I have a PhD in hoology and asthmatology. Here's the proof right here. And uh, this is me. This nigga right, this alter ego right here is retired. I'm only bringing him out for the videos. This nigga is never coming out again unless I really like, you know, I doubt this nigga will ever come back out because, you know, I'm settled down and I'm about to retire my jerseys. My jersey's going up in the rafters and I'm I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm so retired. But look, I'm about to get y'all right. It's going to be a little serious. I'm going to post. This is going to be the only week I post twice a week. Next time I post a video is going to be Wednesday. And then after that, it's going to be every Wednesday after that. So without further ado, let's get into this shit. Gang. All right, so this is part one. We're going to start off with heartbreak. This is what's going to get y'all into this stage or this type of mentality to where it's like you just want to, you know, go be a savage. This is the heartbreak era. Every nigga goes through this shit, whether it's you're just now getting into your phase or you're in the middle of your phase. So, you're gonna need to hear this either way, like whether it's now or later. So let me put y'all on. <clears throat> All right, so you fucking with a girl, say y'all was in high school or something. So you fucking with a girl, you know, you got feelings for her and she played you. We're just gonna keep it short like that. She played you. So now you and your feelings and shit. I'm gonna help you overcome that shit and I'm about to get you in your fucking bag, bruh. Cause don't no nigga wanna be put in his feelings, bruh. But this is the best experience to go through, bro. This this is what makes you. This is what builds your character. So, it's three stages. You got the stage, the first stage, which is you're thinking you're not good enough, which is you're questioning everything. You're like, damn, am I ugly? Am I fat? Like, what what makes her want to do this to me? And then you got the stage where you're like, you're really sad. Damn near, like, you wouldn't, you can say you're depressed, but I doubt you're depressed. And that's because you're overthinking and like you're you really you know you have no more self you have no more self value you don't really believe in yourself you don't have no confidence no self esteem all that shit. And then the third stage is fuck this bitch. When you're in the fuck this bitch phase, this is the evolution that will change your life. All right. Now I went through this stage. If you watch my when uh, the story time when my girl got her train around her Kiki. She put me through that stage, and then ever since then, I just, I always had that mentality. So, look, the first stage, I'm going to say this. Don't be in this stage for too long. Don't be in this stage to where, you know, you're, you're going to be questioning yourself for sure, whether that's your weight, how you look, if it's someone better than you. That's just natural. It's going to be like that. And then you're going to be sad. My thing is, don't be sad for too long. I would say give yourself at most a day. Yes, a day, my nigga. Give yourself at most a day where you're just like you're in your feelings and shit it's not healthy to be you know doubting yourself you know questioning your self value because that's what really you know fucks you up in the head and it's like you don't think you're good enough for anybody and bro we're gonna like i don't even like talking like this so we're about to get into this to get out of this uh this period so it's an insecurity that you have i don't know because i don't know you but i'm gonna just say the obvious shit you know you're probably overweight uh you're probably lame you know shit like that you know so we're gonna i'm gonna help you get over that so if you're overweight it's pretty easy to fix that you know start going to the gym simple as that when you go to the gym you start seeing over results you start you become hungry and you start loving the grind and you know you start trusting the process because who doesn't like seeing their their body change especially if you want like you know some abs or some shit it's like who because if you lost that bitch you about to you know glow up this is the glow up phase this is the that's what i meant is the glow up phase so now you working out and shit and that's going to build your confidence up and your self-esteem up naturally by itself. That's going to naturally do it. You're going to start feeling yourself more. You're going to look in the you're going to look in the mirror when you're about to get in the shower, you're going to be looking better, you know. Your pants fitting a little slimmer, you know. Your mom saying, "Damn, you looking good." 
and all you doing is you know you get healthy. You might you know if you don't have a gym in your neighborhood or you don't you know play sports or anything. Wake up. I like to work out early in the morning because I don't like when people see me working out. And it's better to work out early in the morning because, you know, it gets, it's a great way to get your day started. So, you know, wake up. I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Wake up early in the morning. What I do now is because of Soul Illuminati, I meditate. So, you know, look up some how to meditate videos. You know, it's not really hard to meditate. You know, just practice it. Relax. Learn how to control your thoughts and all that. Once you learn that, you want to start meditating. And when, you, and when you're done meditating, you want to jog. Take take like a jogger if you got a treadmill i go on the treadmill and i'll run on like i'll like walk and then i'll run and then i'll walk again and you know uh speeding up and down my heart rate because that burn calories and shit so you want to do shit like that and then you're going to start looking better you know lift weights if you play football go to even if you don't play sports again in high school go to the conditioning even if you don't want to play football go to the foot the summer workouts because they do all type of conditioning and it's easy access to the weights and shit or you can just look up your own home workout. So you can do some shit like that. You know, and that's gonna that's gonna get you right. That's gonna start, you know, you lose like about 10 pounds. Bitch is gonna be like, damn, he looking different. Your face slimming down and shit. And that's, that's really gonna get bitches breaking their neck. And when someone says something to you, that's when you really get that, mo when you get more confidence. So that's that. Now you wanna start working on your confidence. You know, you're working out, and you, but you're still not confident. Like, you're not confident enough to talk to a girl, but it's like you're confident enough to where you're starting to believe in yourself more. So now what you want to do is what I want you to do is I want you to look in the mirror. Every day, every time you see yourself in the mirror, be like, damn, you look good as fuck. Like, you handsome as hell. You sexy as fuck. Bro, you have to gas yourself up because you now have to learn the, you now have to learn self-love. Because if you don't love yourself, no one else would truly love you. Like, if a bitch come up to me right now and be like, you broke as fuck, I'll look at it like, I don't care because I know I'm not broke. So, I mean, I'm not broke. So, it doesn't affect me. Somebody, a bitch can play you and it's just like, damn, that's your loss. That's the mentality I want you to get. It took me a minute to get to that. It took me about... A week and a half, two weeks to get to that phase, but you may be able to get it faster if you know you putting in more work than me. So when you get to that mentality to where it's like a bitch stop fucking with you and it's like that's her loss, you are now that nigga. Now it's time. Now you're in that phase to where it start, it's time for you. You know, you're like you're really in your bag. And when you have confidence, other bitches can sense that shit. So I want you to get a haircut. That's gonna boost your confidence up as well. Get you. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna lose weight. Look in the mirror. You know, gas yourself up and get you a haircut. You know, do all that shit. And you're gonna be looking different. You're a whole new you. You lost some weight. You you know your your, your self esteem is up and shit. And you you know you're talking great. So you got a haircut. And now bitches like you post a picture of someone on Snap. You know, if you got a girl that was like you know like that was kind of friends on it, like you know that, that you talked to in high school and you don't really talk to her talk to her this summer i promise you talk to her this summer and see what happens you want to start talking to girls and the best way to have your confidence even if you don't if you're scared to talk to girls make it seem like it's a joke like it's just natural for me like whenever i talk to girls like i'm always joking like i'm always like trolling so it's like it's just natural because it's like if she try to finesse me i'm be like that's your loss so like i can play it off like i'm just real slick with it so you want to do shit like that i'm about to the next video this is just a brief statement like this is just like you know to like get, literally get over your heartbreak so it's nothing major i'm gonna get y'all niggas right the next video and every video after the next one like every video after this is gonna be straight bangs like y'all are really gonna like use these shit but this is just something for the you know the little simps or the niggas that you know you might go through this but you always you just want to work on your confidence and your self-esteem and girls they can smell confidence they can smell confidence like it's fucking cologne yo because i'm gonna tell you right now if you go up to a girl and like you walk in like you like mm, hey how you doing you know, it's like, nigga, speak with your chest. Like, she she doesn't want to be with a nigga that's, like, that doesn't have no confidence. Because if you don't have confidence, like, how you going to, you know, it's like, it's hard to explain. But you can ask any girl. A girl doesn't want to be around a nigga that doesn't have confidence. Like, it's just, I don't know. That's just what attracts them, bro. Like, you could be, you. I'm not saying you got to be the sexiest nigga in the world. But if you got some confidence, my nigga, if you got some fucking confidence, bro, it could really take you a long way. Like, even to where it's, like, talking to girls, and it's, like, she, it's just, they just like that dominance. It's, like, it's, it's hard to explain, bro, but, like, this video is strictly about confidence. That's what I want you to work on. I want you to start working out, losing some weight, you know, get some abs, you know, change your physique. Look in the mirror, tell yourself you're beautiful, you're sexy, you're handsome, you're the best-looking nigga in, on this planet, and get you a haircut. Get you, get you some waves. Get you a high fade or something. Cut them, cut them dreads off. Switch it up on these bitches. You get what I'm saying? Just try something new. Give yourself a whole new persona. And that's going to be it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one. And I'm out. Gang.